Well, with the warmer temperatures and a little bit of rain in our forecast, Joseph, it's looking to be kind of spring like out there. Yeah, the temperatures are going to be looking pretty good, but unfortunately, along with it, we do have to worry about this wet start to our Thursday morning. And it's safe to say it's probably gonna be a wet afternoon across the Wabash Valley. Let's jump right into the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker right now. Actually, look at the I-70 corridor. Really north of it is where those showers and some of the moderate heavier showers are actually right now moving off to the northeast. South, though, areas like Olney down to Vincennes and Lagodi, uh, Washington down to the south. Staying dry for our afternoon. Now this won't be the case as we head into our early evening and into our evening as we see that trailing front move in. That's going to spark up some more showers as we head through our evening. So there was that precipitation off to the southwest. It moved off to the northeast for our early morning. Actually, some reports of some snowfall too, with some pockets of colder air aloft. But for the most part, right here at our station and throughout most of the valley, we've just seen mostly precipitation. And actually, let's talk about some of those rainfall totals that we've seen over the last 24 hours, just about three one hundredths of an inch. So not a lot of rainfall, but as we continue through the day and into our evening and overnight, as the rain continues to move in, we will see these boost up over the next 24 hours and really over the next 12 hours here across the Wabash Valley. So let's look at our weather headlines. Is this going to be kind of a wet pattern over the next few days? We'll have a break come Sunday and possibly late Saturday evening. But then a chance for some more rain returns on Monday. So expect the rain over the next few days. Temperatures, though, will be a slightly warmer with those temperatures uh, just boosting up with the, some warm southerly wind moving on in. And that's, in fact, what we're seeing for our afternoon today. Look at this. We have a south breeze running around 16 miles per hour. So that's helping usher in those warmer temperatures, even with that cloud coverage and that rain that we saw for our early morning. Our highs today will be topping off in the lower to mid 50s. That was right around 53 degrees in Terre Haute. 55 for Robinson, 54 for Casey, and off to the northwest for you folks in Mattoon, just about the same 54. So here's that rain. This is right around 1 p.m. today. You're going to see it just kind of take a break, mostly clouds, but then that next wave moves in and it could be scattered in nature, but we'll have a good chance to just keep on picking up some rainfall for our afternoon into our evening, really into overnight too. Temperatures tonight only falling down into the lower 40s for all of us. 40 degrees for Rockville down to 41 in Linton. For our afternoon tomorrow, as we pick this back up in the future cast, we'll see that rain to stick around through the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy. Probably still some lingering rain showers here or there. And by our Friday afternoon and into Friday evening, really clears up and just a few clouds out there. Our temperatures will be warming up tomorrow into the lower 50s once again. So as for today, 53 degrees, a chance for scattered showers and possibly even a thunderstorm, but nothing severe. 41 degrees tonight and by tomorrow, 54 degrees, mostly cloudy to partly breezy and uh, mild. And as we continue in the seven day forecast, I think we'll have a good break come Sunday. Temperatures it possibly into the lower 60s to the upper 50s, a lot of sunshine and then rain returns come Monday, Wednesday and Thursday.